Hey everyone, welcome back to Build Tune Race. Today we're actually doing some garage tuning. Well, not really tuning, but kind of looking at some suspension things. I'm gonna be getting some new shocks for Salty, and I figured we should probably weigh it. So I got a conglomerate thing going on around here. Let me show you what I'm working on. So I was able to borrow some scales from my dad, and you might be wondering, why is there a fuel jug? Why is there a big old water jug? And some stuff over there on the scales that equal about 158 pounds. Well, I'm not quite that light. I'm actually about 180, so I'm gonna to try to put all this in the driver's seat, put everything in the car, get it weighed. So then when I order some new shocks, I have all the weights from each corner and kind of how the car is sitting. Also, I wanna figure out when we go radio racing or no prep racing, how much percent is on the nose and how much is on the rear of this car and how much weight would we have to put in the rear because I know it's nose heavy to be really competitive in no prep. You're typically shooting for about, you know, 52, 54 front radial, 52, 54 front during no prep, even 50 50 is not bad on no prep but the more you can get back there the better if you've been watching a bunch of videos lately cars are literally carrying the tires across the finish line on a no prep like street race style stuff so i'm gonna get all this stuff packed into the car then we're gonna get it jacked up set down on scales and see where we're at all right so there's james in there a couple fuel jugs big water jug tool bag maybe a few pounds light i also went ahead and threw salty's new uh belly pan here for the engine on top from vasco speed this thing is super sweet super clean we're ditching the diaper we're gonna go with that i gotta weld on some tabs and stuff if you guys want to see that make sure you subscribe and come back for the video where we install that thing once i probably get this thing back up on the lift do all the shocks and all that stuff over at the shop cool so let's go ahead and get the back jacked up this one's easy the front take a little bit more effort now that I got the scale zeroed out, everything's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide these under there. Go ahead and let the back of this pig down. Real easy. Okay. Let's see where we're at. 1,633 pounds, whoo! It's off to a heck of a start. Now the front's on, so let's see the moment of truth. 34.68 with approximately me in it. If you guys remember when we were in Denver Racing Street Car Takeover, I went over the scales and it read 34.75. So it shows me about mm, 10 pounds light. We're about 10 pounds light for what I put in the car. I'm also probably missing a few pounds of ice in the trunk, which I didn't have in the car anyway when I went over the scales in Denver. I'm gonna say more or less 34, 67, 30, yeah, 34, 70, we're really, really close to where we go when we're racing. I also believe there's a little extra pump gas in this from cruising it around, and we usually don't run it full full when drag racing, so within probably 10 to 15 pounds, I'd say right now. There is also another thing worth noting. We do have the trailer hitch on the car, so this would be like in drag and drive, and that's probably putting another 40 pounds on the back of the car. And if we really wanted to line this thing up, pull that off, pull the dash out, because we can run the car without the dash, to get a few, like, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 pounds less out of the car. So I'd really love to run this thing at 33.99, but we're not quite there. But I think I could get there with a little bit more work and, um, you know, removing some things and lightening some things up. So. We'll see what uh, what time brings on that. So I went ahead and clicked on that nice little total button and right there it'll give you rear percent, 47.2 rear. So that means we're right at 52.8% on the front. So definitely more, actually really, really good for radial, which is kind of my plan with putting the turbos up front in the car and all that stuff. But 52.8 means we got a long ways to go if we want to do some no prep racing with this thing. And that's also with that trailer hitch. So take that off the car gets even a little bit heavier on the nose. So just for a quick one, I went ahead and threw some fuel right over the rear axle. It's about 65-ish pounds. I think 68 actually, which brings us now to 51 and a half percent. And let's see, 35, 39 total. So if I took and put a quick 60 pounds-ish in the back of the car, that's what that would net us. But what I'm curious is if I take and move that weight back and up further but then we're over the fuel tank or if it was down and lower so you have a few options i believe from what i've been researching everything 
the higher you can put it and the further back, the more leverage point you're gonna get back here. So that's why you see a lot of cars with these big old wings doing no prep stuff. So kind of gives me an idea. I was thinking about putting a bar across there then I can hang weights on it. It's right over the axle, get you a lot of bite there, not a ton of leverage, but the further back I can move it. So I thought about, you know, removing the fuel tank and ice tank, putting it, putting weight down in the T-top area, which would put it super back and super low. It might take a little bit of all of it if we want to get this thing to 52% in the rear. I think I just added it up from the numbers we had and somewhere around 135, 140 pounds I would need to put in the back of the car to get the percentage to about 52 rear. A little interesting experiment. I was at 48.6, now I'm at 48.9. And all I did was move that jug from where it was at over the axle to further back and higher in the car. Obviously, it would be hard to put that chunk away but if we could get like a lead bar or whatever that would hang maybe across the back here then that shows you that it starts to move more percentage back as it gives more leverage over the rear end probably taking weight off of the front as well because it's starting to compress the spring in the back car a little bit more trying to figure out how to get 50, over 50 percent on the rear car and then you know moving those weights around so i was like hey april will you help me real quick just lay right here <laughs> so i can see what it would take to get 51 percent on the rear of the car so now I kind of know what it would take to get there. All right, well, it is super cold here in Colorado. I think that gives me a good solid idea of where I would need to put weight and what I would need to do other than just strap an April to the back of this thing to get it to be over 50% to the back for no prep racing. I don't know how much we're gonna do in 2024, but I wanna have the car prepped and ready. The shocks will be adaptable for either surface. And we got some stuff to do to get ready. I think our first event's gonna be Texas 2K. So make sure you guys stick around, stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. If you liked today's video, make sure you share it with some friends, and we'll see you guys next time.